Welcome to Cutaway, Australia's skydiving malfunctions training video. I'm Dr Glenn Singleman and I'll be your host today as we talk about malfunctions and emergency procedures. This video is designed for students preparing to take their very first skydive, together with demonstrations from Australian champion skydiver Michael Vaughan, we'll discuss the different types of malfunctions that can occur and how to respond effectively using emergency procedures. We'll also cover minor problems that can occur on opening and how to respond to these. But before we get to malfunctions, let's recap on a stable deployment resulting in a good canopy and how to identify a good canopy that you can land safely because it's most likely that that's what will happen on your first skydive. As you now know, it's important to remember the key words and associated actions your instructor has taught you. Let's run through the key words used during deployment and good canopy identification. To achieve a stable deployment, we need to use the key words Locate, grip, throw, arch, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, check, 5,000, 6,000. Once the canopy is deployed, we go into our routine canopy inspection using the following keywords. Size, shape, straight, slider, twist free, toggles, two flares. Size. Check that the canopy is large, undistorted, no rips, tears or broken lines. Shape. That the canopy is rectangular, unrestricted and the end cells are fully open. Straight. By picking a point on the ground, we check that the canopy is flying straight and not turning in any way. Slider. The slider must come all the way down to the top of the risers at the bottom of the lines. Twist free. That the lines are not twisted. Toggles. When you've confirmed the previous steps, you should release the toggles located at the rear of the rear risers. Two flares. By pulling the toggles down to your hips in a fluid smooth action, complete two full flares. Even with a good arch and a perfectly stable deployment, it is possible for the pilot chute to become trapped in the jumper's burble, causing a delayed deployment of the main parachute. This is called a pilot chute hesitation. This can easily be remedied by turning a shoulder and exposing the pilot chute to the airflow, allowing it to catch air and deploy the main parachute normally. This is generally achieved when you check over your shoulder during your count. As discussed, a stable deployment position aids a clean and proper opening of the main parachute. An unstable deployment can cause deployment complications resulting in main canopy malfunctions requiring emergency procedures. Nevertheless, the highest priority is always to pull at the correct altitude regardless of stability. <laughs> 